this figure was released back in 2017 but he showed up in The Mandalorian Season 2. Thought we'd have a quick look at MMS4413 far, far one, far one, Death Star Gunner. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Because I'm busy buying collectibles, sir. That's right, busy buying collectibles uh, today, like I just said. MMS 413 Death Star Gunner. Um, now, any eagle eyed OG Star Wars fans will have seen him pop up in season two of The Mandalorian when on the roof of the mining facility where they're taking that Rhydonian explosive stuff. Uh, there's a couple of these guys on the big guns that um, Fennec Shand and Cara Doom have to shoot. So. Let's do a gunner. And then, yeah, virtually no accessories with this. You get a blaster and six hands, and that is it. And here is the figure. So in the in the OG films, episode four, they were literally well, like this is. They were the ones that pressed the buttons to um, fire the Death Star's laser. Uh, and yeah, there's not much to it really. Flight suit. Um, this is looks like the pleather, like from the pauldron material of. Some of the other figures, but yeah, it's holding up. It, considering it's an old figure, and I've seen lots of pleather issues and leather issues, the, the flight suit looks like what Darth Vader's suit's made of as well. But uh, yeah, it's all looking, still looking good. Holster's looking perfect. I mean, when I got this last year, it was it's in immaculate condition. So. And obviously I keep them like in really good condition as well. Seems to be a bit of a dust magnet this one, but I have this, my special dust weapon, which is one of my wife's, uh, like a makeup brush, I think. And we just, just give them a clean now and again. It works really well, that. tip for you there. So yeah. Antenna. When I, first, when I was looking to buy this, he's, he, I got it off eBay and he said he couldn't find the antenna, but then, then he found it. So that's kind of handy. And so yeah, that's all he is really. Combat Kex. He's got a good, usual good range of movement. Body's feeling solid. Um, considering he's nearly four years old. Yeah, made up. And yeah, the usual base we've all seen before. That came with the new Hope figures. So it's a really simple figure, but I just think it looks really cool. And if you if you're an OG fan, OG Star Wars fan, then it's I don't know. Definitely worth picking up if you can find it. I, I struggle to find it though, to be honest. I can't really. It doesn't seem to pop up much on eBay. Um, I might have just been lucky to pick him up. Again, I think it might have been a limited run of these, like more limited than normal. I was a little bit surprised he might have not have got a reissue with the, uh, you know, because all the Mando hype, and he made an appearance in that episode. I would have thought they might have reissued him, but. Maybe he didn't sell all that well first time round, so we thought, why bother? But, uh, I, I really like it. Goes well with um, Tarkin and the Space Trooper as well. So yeah, I hope you will like that really quick video of the Death Star Gunner. Um, just while I was filming this, I, I know it's I'd got almost 100 subscribers so 
it's a little milestone I never thought I'd reach. So thank, thanks to everyone who's subscribed so far. Um, if you could maybe tell your mates or whatever to subscribe just to push me over the 100 mark, I'd really appreciate that. It's a, like I say, a little milestone that I didn't think I'd reach when I started doing these because I was only doing them just as a mess about at first. But yeah, so cheers for subscribing. Um, don't forget to like and comment. I'll see you next time.